What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about Cam Johnson Bass. This one here came from lots of comment requests, some even say that it's the best one so far. So just let me know in the comment section any bass or release recommendation, of course I'll see what I can do. It doesn't matter what height range it is, I'm running episodes on all height ranges anyway. And by the way, thank you guys for all your support in this series. Your recommendations and likes really keep the series going, so it would be really awesome if you guys can do the same on this video. Even just liking it will really help the series thrive. So let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know how this Jump Shot series works, basically every video I'll be covering a specific base or release and I will cross compare it to the others that are already covered. In this way, we can build those charts up video per video. There'll be lots of elements that'll be covered in this one, which is not included on the 2K charts like front challenge, side drift, and visual comparisons. So now for the first one, in terms of shot speed, I tested 15 bases so far, and it's tied up on the third place together with Pip, Thor, Prince, and some others. And by the way, they might have the same value in there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're exactly the same. It just happened that their gaps are too small to be tracked on this test. And now for the next one, the side drift. And for those of you who don't know what side drift is, that's the sideway movement that a jump shot does when you shoot. And this one here is not just cosmetics, because it will actually affect coverage. And in here you can see, it's right somewhere at the worst half of the list. And by the way, side drift stat is kinda subjective. Maybe some of you guys want your jump shot to drift on one side so you can, you know, exploit it. And some of you might want a more stable base because based on my experience, the more side drift the jump shot has, the harder to track the visual cue. So it's really up to you how you wanna treat this chart here. And now for the most important part, the challenge reduction. For me personally, it's the most important element because it factors a lot of things, like a shot speed, really side, front drift, which is the forward motion of your base, defensive immunity, and some other stuff. And now for the results, here you can see, out of 16 bases that I covered so far, it's on the fourth place. It might not be on the top one, but to be top four on these top heavy lists, that's really a great thing. Now, to get some sense why it's ranked high in this list, in here you can see, the release height is really high. And on top of that, the release speed is above average. I think the only thing that holding this base back is the front drift. Yeah, it is not too much, but it's no match if you compare it to T-Mac base. So in summary, Cam Johnson base is one of the best and is a must try. So that's all for the video. Again, please let me know in the comment section and a recommendation for a topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.